Okay, I'm making this video for my friend Steven who's learning how to play the banjo. Why would anybody want to do that? Well, Steve, Steven, you've been playing out of standard G tuning, which is a perfectly wonderful tuning. And it's what most of the blue, most bluegrass banjo players use. But in old time, uh, we, we use that tuning also for our G tunes. But when we go to a D tune, we usually are going to use double D tuning. And the best way, I think the easiest way to get to that out of standard G is to first go to double C tuning. So to go to double C, your fourth string, which is a D string, is going to come down to a C note. You can use an electronic tuning if you like or just go by ear. So your D string comes down to a C and you have to change one more string. Your second string comes up to a C. An octave higher than your fourth string. The second string up to a C. So we're in double C now. And the three chord shapes that usually get used is going to be a there's your C chord with second fret first string C chord the F chord is ring finger on the third fret of the first string and index on the third string second fret and then the G chord is going to be index on the fourth string second fret and middle finger on second fret of the second string so now we're playing in double C now uh, to get to double D actually you can practice all the double uh, all the D tunes out of this double C tuning if you're not playing with anybody else. But to, if you're playing at the cabin or playing with other folks that are playing tunes in D, you're going to have to put the capo on the second fret. And so that brings everything up a whole step. To the key of D. And the fifth string, the capo doesn't hit the fifth string. So you have to either tune it up to an A, or you have to have, a, they usually call them railroad spikes, but I, ha I have a little small screw I could find, and I stuck it in the second fret of the fifth string, and I can just slip that string underneath there. But if you don't have that, you can just tune your string, fifth string up to an A. Usually have to do a little, little re, re, retuning. I have to get the capo on there because it pulls strings out of tune a little bit. So now with the capo on the second fret and the fifth string turned up to A, you're in double D and you're good to go on D tunes. I think the double D tuning works best using claw hammer style, which is. three finger scrug style pick it too but for me it's harder to find the melody notes so there you go your double C double D tuning with the capo on the second fret I hope that confuses you sufficiently